In this case is called an expensive war. I'm going to tell you the story about a reported decision. It was a decision of a judge called Justice Benjamin, who normally presides in Tasmania, however, heard this case in the Sydney Registry of the Family Court. Now, what's interesting about it is the case actually settled. So I think it was something like an eight-day trial. And on day seven of the case, the property proceedings settled. Earlier in the trial, the parenting proceedings settled. There was also child support issues that also um, couldn't proceed because they hadn't bothered to serve the child support registrar as is required. So essentially, the case settled. So why is there a reported decision? Well, this judge was so outraged by the legal fees that everybody paid in this case that he wanted to make it known and he made a formal complaint to the Legal Services Commissioner, who's the body that governs lawyers and handles complaints, about those astonishing legal fees. Now, why am I telling you this story? Because it made headlines. And I, from time to time, think about this case and just feel like saying to my fellow Sydney lawyers, calm the fuck down. You're not helping these parties bring about a resolution. Let me show you some of the headlines. This is the front page of the Sydney Morning Herald referring to the outrageous fees. Um, this is a 2017 case. Let me tell you exactly what those fees were. So the mother had paid her family law solicitor $352,744. Um, the father had paid $506,000. There were his legal fees. So the total amount of adding mum and dad together, they spent a total of $860,000 on their legal fees. Now remember, these are mums and dads. This is not a commercial case. This isn't a case in the Supreme Court. This is a family law case. That is an extravagant amount of money and really, really sad. So the judge felt so strongly about it because remember, in the family law court, you have to disclose the legal fees because you have to account for where the money went. People are fighting about money. You need to know where is the money gone. In this case, it all fucking went to the lawyers. Let's have a closer look. So this is an extract from the judgment. It says up here, solicitors are not employed to act as a postman to vent the anger and vitriol of their clients. And that's 100% true. The number of clients say to me, I want you to write to the other side and say this. And I'll be like, we're not doing that. That's not going to help your case. Calm down, you know, calm the fuck down. Solicitors are professional legal practitioners and charge significant hourly rates. That's true, which is why you have to be careful about what your solicitor is charging you. But parties to family law litigation are often distressed, anxious, angry and upset. It's our job as lawyers to calm you down so we can try and get you to a resolution of your case. The judge refers to the amount paid, the $850,000, as eye-watering. Hear, hear to that. And these people had kids. So that money should have went to their goddamn children, not the lawyers. After this case came out, everyone was wondering, who are these lawyers? Oh, my God. So I went and looked them up. But, of course, it doesn't tell you. They blacked out the names Mr X and Ms S. So we don't know who it is.